What's the scene, people? This is Matthew, and this is another episode of What's the Scene. And today I'll be talking about that event, boy, that movie event everybody has been waiting for. Ten years it took to reach this point, folks. Ten years. The MCU has done in ten years that the DCEU tried to do in four years and failed. Ooh. Of course, I'm talking about Avengers: Infinity War. And don't worry folks, this is going to be as spoiler free as humanly possible. So what is it about? So remember that purple Debo looking guy that you saw at the very end of the Avengers? Yes, Thanos who is played quite excellently by Josh Brolin. Yes, this is where we finally get to see this man in action. And here he has this big gigantic monumental plan which basically involves the universe as a whole, the future of the universe. And the plan entails the use of the Infinity Gauntlet which is strong enough to use the Infinity Stones. These are these six elemental stones that have been hinted and shown throughout the entirety of the MCU. Roughly from the events of Thor going up to Thor Ragnarok. This involves Thanos' quest to get all six Infinity Stones and with that he has the power to pretty much change the universe and as you would guess from the trailers themselves it involves everyone well not everyone because we don't see a particular character who's having this movie out just now and we don't see another character that i wish that we could have seen even though he probably wouldn't have had much to do given his skill set just saying but yes it pretty much involves roughly 99 percent of all the heroes in the mcu so yes we're gonna see the guardians of the galaxy we're gonna see thor we're gonna see captain america we're of course we're gonna see iron man gonna see Spider-Man and whatnot and whatnot. Now many critics and viewers will compare this movie to films such as The Empire Strikes Back or Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part 1, you know? Those were two movies that took their franchises into dark territory where it seemed hopeless, where there was absolutely no hope for the heroes or where it felt like the villains won, you know what I mean? And yeah, those are very simple comparisons because this movie here is exactly like that. This essentially is Thanos' movie. This is where Thanos gets his moment to shine. This is where he does what he has to do and it has really dire consequences. So just taking such an epic story like the Infinity Gauntlet and adapting it to screen and taking your favorite characters and pretty much putting them through emotional wear and tear, you know what I mean? That is commendable. So I applaud the cast and crew for putting such a passionate job into their, their craft, into their art, into their performances. And speaking of performances, I thought that everybody, everybody from Robert Downey Jr. to Chris Hemsworth to even Josh Brolin, everybody got their moment to shine in this film. There are certain important characters, certain key characters that I felt could have had a little bit more screen time and if not that could have had a better or a more fleshed out story arc. And you know, I get that the story has to stop at a particular point, but yeah, I wish that I could have gotten a little bit more resolution with certain characters. But for what it's worth, and I mean, this is a really daunting task when you think about it. I thought that the Russo brothers, who also directed the excellent Captain America Civil War, and one of my personal favorite movies from the MCU. As a matter of fact, it's my favorite MCU movie of all time, Captain America The Winter Soldier. I thought that they did an excellent job with this film. There are a couple of technical moments that I felt could have been done better. A couple of camera movements could have been done a little bit better. And a few of the action scenes kind of relied a little too heavy on shaky cam. But those are just minor issues in my opinion. Because my god, the good certainly outweighs the not so good. I don't want to say bad, but the good certainly outweighs the not so good in this movie. For one thing, Thanos. Oh my god, he is easily the best villain the MCU has ever given us. That's when you thought Loki was the best. That's when you thought Killmonger was the best. No, 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 no. Thanos comes in and literally steals the show. He is threatening, he is menacing, he is fearsome, but at the same time, there is some depth to this character. And right off the bat, he is a madman. He is clearly insane. But there's something about his motivation that you do eventually understand. Yes, the consequences of it are bad and you don't like it, you will not like it at all, but there's something about his mindset and just the backstory that they gave him where he feels as if what he's doing is the right thing and that is one of the true marks of a great villain, of, tell, of creating a great villain, I should say. Where your character basically believes that what he is doing is the right thing, even if it means the loss of lives and just, 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 
messing up people's lives basically. He does not really care about that. But in this case, Thanos believes that what he's doing is for the greater good of the universe. But you know what I mean? Just thinking about it though, just adds a lot of complexity to this character here. The acting is superb throughout the visuals though. The visuals are excellent as well. The story, how it's told, I thought was well handled. There are a few moments where, you know, characters do split up as you would expect in a movie like this. And sometimes they are, you know, there's more time delegated to one group story than to another one. And, you know, there's a little bit of a piecing issue here or there. But I thought that when it all comes together, especially when they confront Thanos, when all the heroes, I should say, confront Thanos, you know, it's, it just makes up for it really immensely. But what I like is that for a story as dark and as grim as Infinity War, you need those moments, you know, to, to, you know, just to get that stress out. You need to laugh it off. You need to chuckle. You need to cheer. And yes, folks, there are moments that will make you cheer. There are moments that will make you scream and ball on the place. I go, my ball! Ah! Just go insane. Trust me. Those shots are there in this movie. I'm not going to say what happens, but trust me, you will have a blast watching this. But at the same time, folks, just letting you know, this is still a very dark and grim film. And yes, characters do die in this film. I am not going to say who dies, but characters do die. And for me personally, and this is not a gripe at all, but personally for me, because I went in knowing what to expect, I ultimately didn't walk out of the film feeling you know, sour and depressed and angry at the world and I hate the MCU and blah blah blah. So I just went in with my emotions unlocked and I just knew, okay, this character could die, that character could die, that character could die. When characters go, you know, some of them, believe me, will catch you completely off guard. So be prepared for that. So yeah, this is easily one of the best MCU movies out there. No, I would not put number one above The Winter Soldier. That is still my all-time favorite MC movie so far. But I would put it either like a second place or maybe a third place. But this is definitely one that I want to see again. Like as soon as I came out of the cinema, I was like, I need to see this movie again. And trust me, if you see it once, you will want to see it again. Unless you need time where it's like, nah, that was just too much for me. And it is going to be all too emotional. Blah, 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 blah. But trust me, emotion aside, you're still going to have fun with this movie. This is a great pop corn movie you're gonna have a blast with this one so yeah for me i give this a very light four and a half out of five stars as dark and as grim as the story is altogether you will still enjoy it as a popcorn movie you know what i mean yeah, and just seeing all your favorite characters together i mean you can't go wrong with that right so yeah those are my thoughts on avengers infinity war so have you guys seen the film what did you think about it did you like it did you hate it do you think it really did live up to that combination of just all these great movies or do you think that it was just too cluttered too messy all over the place narratively structurally do you think that certain characters needed to be there more or didn't need to be there at all or you felt there was just too much characters all together and who was your favorite character in this movie and in general who is your favorite character or characters from the marvel cinematic universe i have a lot and i know you have a lot or maybe a few you know what i mean it doesn't matter but yeah comment below and let me know what you thought about the movie and also who was your favorite mcu character thus far and yeah that's pretty much about it so once again guys this is matthew and yeah that's pretty much about it so once again guys this is matthew i like a wise man once told me